Hey, 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 what's up? Where's your boy G Shrimp? Everybody, Faith, baby, dad, the voice of the street, man. And today we in. We go being jolly at with it, y'all. Now, now, I know y'all probably done heard the story of the guy who have killed all his family members, y'all. So, I'm going to just go a little deep into that and I'm going to break it down for you. But listen to this news clip, y'all. They arrested his girlfriend, and I'm going to tell y'all why they arrested her. Eight victims. Many of them were related to the suspect. Eric Hong has reaction from the community and Nance's attorney tonight. The reason why remains a mystery, but police say Nance murdered some of his closest relatives. Their deaths reverberating throughout the Joliet community. A growing memorial and an eerie quiet graced the block where seven lives were brutally taken. Five victims were found in this home where bullet holes in your window offer a glimpse into the unthinkable. It was a good family, uh, from what I understood, a tight-knit family that supported each other, so it was incredibly tragic. Attorney Jordan Killian represented Romeo Nance when he pleaded not guilty to an alleged road rage shooting last year. The case was awaiting trial and says these killings came as a shock. I started contacting the family because I, I knew they lived there. Um, I contacted Romeo thinking he might be in danger. Police say Nance shot and killed immediate relatives, including his mother, Tamika Nance, his 31-year-old brother, and three sisters ages 20, 16, and 14. Yeah, Those yeah. teenage sisters were in high school, and the other recently graduated. Joliet Township High School District 204 saying, words cannot adequately express the sadness that we are feeling right now. Our JTHS community is grieving this senseless loss. Also killed, Nance's aunt and uncle, his aunt Christy Nesters, worked at the nearby Joliet Treatment Center for the Illinois Department of Corrections, which said her passing is an enormous loss to all of us. IDOC joins her loved ones in mourning and will remember and honor the joy, enthusiasm, commitment, and dedication she brought to her career and community. As we've reported, Nance also had a three-year-old son who police say was found safe with his mother. It's unclear where the child was at the time of the murders. Nah, check this out, y'all. So, the man killed seven of his family members. Seven, y'all. Let me explain who he killed. He killed his mother, Tamika Nance, y'all. She was 47. He killed his brother, Joshua Nass. He was 31. He killed his other sister, Alexandria Nash. She was 20. They got an unnamed sister he killed. She was 16. And the other unnamed sister, she was 14. The reason those are unnamed, y'all, because they juveniles. The news, they can't use your name uh, when you're a juvenile. So that's why they not named. That's why they got them listed as unnamed. They know who they are, though, right? And then he went and killed his auntie. Christina Elston, y'all, she was 38, and he killed her husband, William Elston, he was 35. This is his auntie and uncle, y'all. He killed the whole family. The whole family. Now, what would make somebody snap like that? We don't know. But they charged her with obstructing of justice, y'all, which is a felony, though. But let me explain to y'all what obstruction of justice is. It's just simply lying to the police. That's all it is. It's lying to the police. See what it was when they grabbed her ass. This is her baby daddy now, y'all. They like probably asked her, where your baby daddy at? I don't know where he at. We looking for him. Where he at? I don't know. Now, she probably don't know. These eight people is dead because their job is to get information from you. They don't give it. Y'all know how the police is. You ask them questions, we asking the questions, bitch, where your baby daddy at? What do he do? They ain't going to stop and say, oh, he just killed eight people in his family. Well, it wasn't eight, he killed seven. But they ain't just going to say, oh, he killed uh seven people. Now, where he at? Because they know if they tell her, she ain't going to tell them shit. So, they wouldn't tell her. That's how she got in so much trouble, y'all. She didn't know the severity of the situation. She didn't know how serious this shit really was. And she playing them games. I'm not telling on my baby daddy. I'm not telling nothing. 
Boy, when they handcuffed that bitch and took her to jail, they said she was crying like a motherfucker, y'all. You hear me? Crying because she didn't know. They probably, because they lied to you, y'all. They probably said, bitch, we charged you with all eight of these murders. <laughs> that's, why, that's why she was crying, y'all. Don't think she was just crying. She was crying because they lied to her. And let me explain something else to y'all. It's not illegal for the police to lie to you. All that shit y'all be hearing on the street and then, it, are you a police? You got to tell me the truth. Not the fuck they don't. Not the fuck they don't. The only time they don't have to lie is when they're in court and on that stand. In them uh, locker rooms, y'all, I mean them confession rooms, they lie all the time. If y'all ever watch Chicago PD, I heard this motherfucker say out his mouth, Hey, only time we have to tell the truth is when we in court. In the stand, I mean in this confession room, you know, it's fair game, y'all. It's fair game. They can lie and they'll tell you any fucking thing. Do not believe it. That's why when you ever been interrogated, y'all, you get a lawyer. You ask for a lawyer and you don't talk to them people because they go lie to you. They act like they're trying to help you and they're not never trying to help you. The police is never on your side. Do not forget that shit, y'all. They never on your side. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, y'all, if you're new, right? Now, check this out. Let me explain y'all where Jolly at at. Because my girl just asked me, she said, where Jolly at at? Jolly at is like a suburb right outside of Chicago. But it's a little further. It ain't, ain't our suburb. It's another little town, you know. It's Joliet, you know. It's Joliet, Illinois. That's where all the penitentiaries at, y'all. Joliet, we got Joliet Prison out there, y'all. We got Stateville out there. We got Stateville Farm. And for you people who don't know what Stateville is, Stateville is a penitentiary. This is the maximum security penitentiary. Stateville Farm is uh, where they put the work release people at. It's like Stateville, but it's a farm. It's a smaller part of the big penitentiary. But they put the people who got less time. Let's say you had 50 years. And now you got 10. They'll take you from behind the wall from that max and put you over here on the farm. And may have you working in the kitchen or something. But you'll have a little bit more freedom. You know what I mean? Because you winding down. You finna go home. And they have you over there with the new guys who coming in and just coming and going. Because they all going to work with each other. You know what I mean? So that's what Stateville Farm do. Right? Then Stateville it's a max joint behind the wall. That's where you hear the stories of people getting raped and all that shit. That all that shit may happen behind the wall. It don't happen in the minimum joints, y'all. So if you ain't never been to penitentiary, it's like this. If you got three years, they will send you to a facility that's like they call them minimum security. Every joint have a level. You got minimum security, medium security, and maximum security, right? So if you got small time, they can put you in a minimum security. But if you fuck around and have a fight in minimum security, they'll send you to medium. And depending on how serious the fight was, they might even shoot you all the way up to max. And the difference between that, minimum security, they might have a dorm with 20 people in the room. You know what I mean? 20 people in the room. It might be four or five rooms. Y'all get to walk around and do everything. When you go to medium or max, y'all in a motherfucking cell. Boom! You locked in that motherfucker all day. Sometimes you have 23 and 1. 23 and 1 mean you locked up 23 hours a day and you come out one hour a day. Them make the joints you want to be in. But even them joints, them niggas get TVs and shit and uh, they be alright, but it still ain't no place to be. Don't no motherfucker want to be in jail. And this boy, he knew that, y'all. This man killed seven of his relatives, y'all. Guess where they found him at? In Texas. And he shot himself in the head. Now, the girl is his baby mama, y'all. Y'all see the thumbnail. The girl is his baby mama. He got a three-year-old son by her. He didn't hurt her, though. You know? He didn't hurt her. That's crazy, y'all, to think. You know, he went out like that, man. But I can't imagine. I, 
Now, I can I was finna say, I can see you killing one motherfucker. You get tired of your brother. But I'm gonna take that back. I can't see you killing none of your family members, y'all. Don't. That's not cool. Don't do no shit like that. Don't do no shit like that. You know, why would you kill somebody in your family? You just walk away. But let me tell you, some of these kids, y'all, they be having abandonment issues, y'all. Now, this guy, and he had anger management problems because the case he was fighting already, y'all, was a road rage case where he shot a motherfucker. Road rage. You hear me? So people who don't know road rage is when you driving and you get mad because somebody cut you off. They call that road rage. And you go get a brick or something and you might throw it at a motherfucker or do something. Sometimes you get like that. Listen, I had a van, y'all. I used to have me. I called it a road rage brick. I kept it in the car. Nice brick. Just in case I have to throw this motherfucker or something, you know. And it ain't just no simple shit. It's for when somebody fucking up. If I don't want to shoot a motherfucker, I might just want to, bitch, bust a nigga window or something. Yeah, I called it a road wage rock. It was crazy. I had that motherfucker for years. I only had to use it twice. My wife had to use it one day. And I had to send her ass back to the lake. To replace the roadways rock, y'all. We had to walk the beach and find a nice size little rock. Not too big, not too small. Just fit in your palm of your hand where you can say, nigga. <laughs> you know, because sometimes niggas, a clown nigga, side swipe you. Knock your mirror off and keep going. So you might want to catch him at the light. You motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so anything can happen. But damn, you going to shoot a motherfucker. God damn, boy. Shoot a motherfucker at the light. God damn. I thought we were shooting motherfuckers, but god damn, I'm pretty sure it wasn't for no road race shit. Hit that like button, y'all, and subscribe to the channel, y'all. Subscribe to the channel. So leave it in the comments, man. Let me know what y'all think about this, man. What the fuck can you imagine to make you kill everybody in your family? You know what I mean? I can sit here and think. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing nobody could do to make me want to kill him. And, well, I take that back, want to kill him. But I'm talking about in my family. You know what I mean? Because I look at it like, nigga, in my family, this my family. Why well, I'm going to kill somebody in my family. You know what I mean? That's crazy. If I kill a nigga in my family, he is fucking up. He fucking up. That means he was doing something to one of the other family members. Like finna hurt my uh brother, mother, or son or something like that. And I had to put him down then. That's another story. But just me. or that's why you, Let me tell you something, bro. That's why you can't keep people with negative energy around you. Because sometimes people be having issues in their own head. You don't know what people thinking, y'all. You don't know what people thinking. I told y'all about how my nephew be letting the chick get him upset. And you know he be out fussing and hollering at her. And I, I broke it down to him. I said, nephew, bitches is like this. Long as you get money, they'll do what you want to say. You know what I mean? They don't have no problems. As soon as you fall off, these bitches is gone. You want to keep that little young bitch you got? Keep her from clowning? Keep you some money. If not, get rid of that bitch. You don't need no whole just goddamn stressing you out, man. Fussing and shit. Everything cool when you got money, but when you run out of three dollars, then hit the bitch go up, uh, ready to go. That's the bitch you don't need. Let her go. Let her go, bro. Now, I know it might take him years to figure that out, but I'm giving you the game early, nigga. This ain't nothing that ain't happened to nobody else, bro. Bitches always do that shit. As long as the money flowing, they, they right that good. Bitch can stay, to your, stay at your house seven days a week, long as you got money. You run out of money, goddammit. Just be a day where you can't buy no weed and can't buy no chicken at the same damn time. And cigarettes. And now she got to go. I'll be back. You think she coming back? Yeah, she'll be back the next payday. Mm-hmm. And if you stupid enough to let the bitch in, then just keep being stupid. 
You know, keep being stupid. You can run around here being Captain Saber Ho if you want to. Yeah, save them if they worth saving. But uh, trust me, if the bitch, most of them don't want to be saved. They don't want to be saved, y'all. So hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. But yeah, man, what y'all think, man? Is it anything that could happen that can make you, y'all, kill your whole family? What the fuck? I can't even think of nothing, bruh, to make me kill everybody. And then kill myself, too? Listen, if I killed the whole family, but me, you ain't even gonna go to jail for it, huh? You just gonna kill everybody and fuck it. Uh, I ain't, I'm gonna kill myself. It's a wonder he didn't kill her, y'all. That's why they riding her. They like, bitch, you know something. I don't know nothing. Yes, you do. Why he kill them? So they probably be leaning on her hard, y'all. Because they want answers. The police don't like leaving shit unsolved. They want answers. They want to know why he killed everybody in his family. So they can try to prevent it from happening again. Maybe put that shit in the book. Let the psychiatrist know. Hey, if the nigga say he uh ain't got woo-woo, then uh, y'all keep an eye on this nigga. It's a cold word. He might have said something. That's crazy, y'all. We got to pay attention to our kids sometimes, y'all. Because sometimes these people, they be crying out for help. You got a child outside sleeping in his car or something. It's obviously he had to be the one. He had to be the one going back and forth to jail. He fighting a road rage case. He already a snap out. And he done snapped out and shot somebody in the street. And then you'll shoot somebody in your house, too? That's crazy, y'all. He killed five people in his house and then went and found his auntie them at their house, wherever they was at, and killed them. And then the auntie, y'all, Christina, she was a correctional officer. She worked at Joliet. She worked at Joliet. And the other, the uncle, he worked at the treatment center in Joliet. So these good state-paying jobs, y'all. So these people have had good jobs. That's crazy, y'all. Good jobs. He just take them off the earth like that. And the bad part is you never know when a motherfucker finna kill you. If people knew when they was gonna die, y'all, I'm pretty sure when nobody be dead. He probably called him, hey, auntie, can you come outside? Where you at, baby? I'm in front of your job. Okay. Walk right into that shit. Walk right into it. That's crazy, y'all. Anyway, it's your boy G. Trump. Everybody for your baby daddy. What's the street, man? I'm a punch and I dig you later, man. I'll be back at y'all a little later, y'all. I'm out.